I'm joined now by security journalist Duncan Gardam. Uh, Mr. Gardam, thank you very much for joining us uh, on the programme this morning. Uh, Petrov and, and Borisov, these two men who have been named, unlikely to ever be brought to justice, certainly uh, by, uh, by the UK. So what, does this, what purpose does this very public statement by Theresa May serve? Well, there's a number of different purposes that it serves for different bits of the British security apparatus, if you like. Um, for Scotland Yard, the point is, as much as anything, to prove that they can hunt down these individuals and work out who they are, identify them and then publicly name them. For the uh, prosecutors, they want to make the point that, you know, they want to register that these individuals are now wanted. And in some kind of way, they're saying, look, we don't think that President Putin will be there forever. And when he goes, we want these guys. And then for the security apparatus itself, it wants to send a, a global message, if you like, saying that uh, we know who these individuals are and they are Russian and they have been sent by the state. Now, of course, the Russians have responded. Their line on all of this is that there's still no proof. I mean, from what you've seen, how good is that case? How good is the Russian case or how good is the British case? The Russian how good case... Is the Russian case? <laughs> The Russian case to say there is no proof is extremely weak. I mean, once again, they've come to the UK with one of their specialist uh, killing tools uh, for poisoning dissidents. Uh, and once again, it's been identified. Polonium 10 years ago in the case of the Russian spy Alexander Litvinenko and uh, this time with Novichok. And in both cases, uh, Porton Down the UK specialists in chemical and uh, uh, radiological warfare has been able to identify uh, the poison they've used and the source that it's come from. Uh, of course, uh, there might be a political uh, motive to all of this too. I mean, uh, Britain expelled 23 diplomats after the Scripple uh, poisoning. Could that be a factor in why Theresa May is coming out so strongly with this? Well, the diplomatic coming and going is obviously part of this game. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it, you know, I call it a game, but it's, it's proved deadly in at least one of these cases. But um, it, it is a game of, uh, of global influence. And the UK is trying to say to people, look, we have uh, individuals who work with us inside uh, Russia. Uh, we help uh, provide information and insight into what goes on in Russia and we want the rest of the West to back us because we have proof that they are trying to attack those sources.